ABC 10 News at 5 starts now. Doctors say a newly authorized COVID drug could be a turning point for millions of Americans with weakened immune systems. Yesterday, the FDA gave emergency authorization to AstraZeneca for a new antibody drug designed to help those who can't benefit from these vaccines. Our ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth on whether it can stand up against Omicron. I am thrilled. Brian Kaufman was one of the first people in the world to get AstraZeneca's new drug, Evusheld. He got it during the company's clinical trial back in January. So when the FDA authorized the drug Wednesday as 77% effective at preventing COVID, it was a special moment for Kaufman. This is a way for us to enjoy the world to get back again into the world. The retired physician is one of about 7 million Americans with a compromised immune system. For them, vaccines don't work as well. For some, they may not work at all. The immunocompromised community has sat on its hands watching the rest of the world get back into eating out, going to movies, visiting friends, attending sporting events, and we felt increasingly frustrated and isolated. But Evusheld is seen by many as the next best thing to a vaccine. Instead of training the body to churn out its own defensive antibodies, Evusheld is a cocktail of pre-made antibodies from a lab. These monoclonal antibodies are similar to ones from Eli Lilly and Regeneron that are used to treat the sick. But AstraZeneca's antibodies are engineered to be particularly long-lasting for at least six months. They can be given as a shot, not a lengthy IV infusion, and they're the very first authorized purely for prevention before an infection or an exposure. We've been waiting to have that similar kind of protection that others get through vaccinations, and this will offer that. Is it 100%? No. Evusheld has been proven against the Delta variant, but AstraZeneca is racing to study it against Omicron. Early studies on other antibodies by Regeneron and Eli Lilly suggest they will be less effective against the variant. But AstraZeneca's antibodies stick to different parts of the virus. And outside scientists say there are theoretical reasons to think Evusheld may fare better. Do we know what its activity against Omicron is? We don't. But we're excited that this gives us an opportunity and then to weigh our risks and decide what chances are we going to be able to take. Kaufman says he's hopeful the drug will offer at least some immunity against Omicron. The federal government has already agreed to buy 700,000 doses of Evusheld. It plans to start shipping them in the next few weeks. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. The FDA says that vaccines do remain the best defense for people with healthy immune systems. To get Evusheld, you must have a compromised immune system or a vaccine allergy and be at least 12 or older.